Hey everybody, Lucas Hanneman here. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's episode is a very special one. It's about Hondo guitars. This guitar that I'm holding right now is a Hondo H935. Hondo's take on a 335, quite clearly, <laughs> I would say. And I gotta say, you know, it's a decent guitar. And from my experience, this company does not get talked about very much on the tube. You know, um, it's kind of a company that's faded into obscurity. And I actually have two Hondo guitars randomly here at the same time as each other, which is kind of cool and, and very strange because they're both from two different people. Um, this one was lent to me graciously by a student of mine who's a who's a relatively new guitar player and he found this in his uncle's attic which is very cool and I also have um, one of my wife's best friends mother's Hondo acoustic guitars now Hondo uh, was around from about 1969 until uh, the end of the 80s uh, they faded into obscurity kind of at that point but there were two American businessmen uh, Jerry Freed and Tommy Moore, who were with a company called IMC, um, which I believe stands for International Music Corporation, and uh, they decided that they wanted to part partner up with Samick out of Korea and basically create slash distribute guitars that had Japanese and American craftsmanship but at a fraction of the cost. Now, of course, this is nothing unfamiliar to the guitar world. Everyone wants to make a decent product at a fairly good price and be competitive. Or, you know, that's certainly become a bigger thing uh, after the fact, you know. But um, all that being said, these guys were, you know, one of those early companies to do that, you know. And along with all the stuff that was going on with Sears and Silvertone and everything like that, you know, uh, Hondo was one of those companies that that did something that was decent at least you know if nothing else uh, at, at a good price now i gotta say you know these guitars don't they, they have their issues um certainly this one has some pretty major fret buzz in certain areas uh but at least the truss rod still works which is pretty cool now this is the uh, h935ch and um it's very much a cherry 335 right this is one of the earlier ones, as far as I know, because it does not have a bound neck or a bound headstock, just a bound body. And you might notice that the pickups on this guitar are a little bit different. This guitar actually has, right now, has EMG pickups. That's not what the, you know, it initially had kind of PAF style pickups in it. Uh, but these EMGs are, are really cool, actually. It's a very interesting uh, story because my student, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name. His name is Dylan. And he's quite an amazing, uh, you know, guy. He's he's really uh, taken off as a as a player. Uh, he's learning a lot really quickly. He only started playing just before Christmas this past year, and he already redid the electronics on this guitar, which is very cool. And he put these EMGs in here, and I don't know what they are, but they're they're very low output compared to a standard humbucker. I would say that this has about the same output as a typical Stratocaster. Uh, which is really interesting. Like I have a guitar that has Filtertron pickups uh, that is louder than this, which is uh, pretty crazy. So uh, I actually really like these because I love low output pickups. Um, so today I'm plugged into this 1962 Fender Princeton non-reverb, but I do, I do have some reverb from the uh, Strym and Flint today. And you just heard some trim from that pedal as well. But let's uh, keep the reverb on, but we're just going to go for some non-trim sounds just to show you the different pickup positions. So here's the neck position all by itself. does the jazzy thing really well. Thank you. 
pick up a pick. Sounds good for, you know, the kind of uh, bluesier stuff. <laughs> Pickups together has you know that nice uh, kind of uh, 335 you know kind of great funky tone actually. Turn off the reverb actually here we go. funky for sure. The bridge pickup sounds awesome. <laughs> cool very cool and then with overdrive you know kind of does that larry carlton john schofield you know that kind of thing really well <laughs> but you guys get the idea <laughs> you know so yeah it does all the stuff Thank you. 
guitar. Now, I, as I say, I have another one here, but I have to say something about this one. This guitar is not nearly as cool, in my opinion, as uh, that Hondo Electric 935 that we just checked out. This is a very obscure acoustic Hondo. Uh, Dreadnought, apparently largely based on a Martin D18. Uh, as we can kind of see, despite the lack of pickguard and the yellow color, definitely a product of its time. <laughs> A very 80s-y kind of guitar. Uh, as I say, this one belongs to my wife's best friend's mom, and it was sitting in its original box from 1981 um, <laughs> in in, uh, in his basement, and uh, the action is, like, pretty darn high. So it would be a cool slide guitar, maybe, but uh, here... And uh, the tuning pegs are eh, not so good. But anyways, despite that... Got a tune low. So it's okay, but apparently it's an all laminate guitar. It certainly sounds like that, and I really can't figure out anything ab about this guitar. I believe I believe it's a a one thirty seven or something like that. Um, pretty big neck, but uh, uh, I think a spruce top, and I believe uh, mahogany back and sides. Because when you look inside the sound hole, it looks like it's a darker colored wood, and it certainly sounds more like mahogany to me, you know, a little bit less overtone, a bit more fundamental. But uh, if this guitar played better, it would certainly be better, but uh, the fret ends are not in good shape, and uh, the whole guitar is, eh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so I assume mahogany neck on this guy, mahogany back and sides, and a spruce top, but if anyone out there in YouTube land knows what this guitar is, uh, other than the fact that it's a Hondo, uh, please do let me know. Um, so, yeah, like I say, the Hondo guitars were mainly made in Korea, Although they did have some guitars called the Professional Series that were made uh, in Japan. And, uh, of course, that was much more desirable at the time. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you know anything about Hondo guitars and if you own one of these guitars. Do you like it? Um, do you have issues with it? What do you think? Uh, don't be afraid to let me know. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we will see everybody again very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.